Oh, this one has come a lot earlier than the last seven. <laughs> We've been getting up at like eight o'clock in the morning, relaxing, hanging out, and uh, yeah. So it was late night. Rig tackle till about 11:30. Got up five o'clock. About to take off. We got Vic looking out. Got the PB and J going. Look at hey, that. She's looking out big time. Big time. Big time. I'm over here just sipping on some tea. She made tacos last night. I know. Oh, they were fire. <laughs> See, we, we, we kept you all in the loop on everything that's going on this week. We've had a lot of fun. To bring you up to speed, all of us, Adrian, Mark, well, Adrian, Mark, myself, and kind of all made the cut. And then, uh, obviously, today. We have three out of four of us. Mark, you know, had a solid finish. She had a little bit tougher day yesterday. Still made the cut. Adrian and myself in DC all are fishing for $100,000 a day. And one of them big Bash Pro Tour trophies. So I'm looking forward to, to hopefully seeing one of us hoist today. So we're going to make it happen. We're going to do it. We're going to get a little lucky. Otter, I'll tell you, Otter, man, they're they going to they be selling us. Son of a gun is to be in this one. Helen, y'all. You know, I just hope DC gets second and I get first. <laughs> I just hope one of y'all win. At least one of y'all. Right, Someone you go. from the group needs to win. I, I would agree. If, if, if it can't be me, I want it to be DC. Right? <laughs> That's as simple as that. We gotta get the heck out of here. Oh. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm over here just. Shh, shh. Where is he? Is he off? Is he off? He's out there in your garage right now. Oh, he's outside? Yeah. We brought the sound that shook the ground. There is a meaning buried within the sound. Oh. I'll tell you what, I've had a lot. It's like Cherokee 2.0. I had to hop out of my boat. I wasn't with DC. Now I just gotta be jumping in the boat with DC and fishing with him, which we can't do. I'm looking forward to today. My whole thing is I'm feeling pretty good, but same point in time, I had to burn, not completely, but I had to use one of my schools, my, one of my, my best sneaky school that I had found in, uh, during the elimination round just a couple of days ago. So, you know, I didn't want to have to do that. Those fish were fresh. And then one of my other sneaky places that I had found that I knew no one was gonna be on, they weren't, when I pulled up on them yesterday, late in the day, they weren't there. So now they might be there late today, but uh, they weren't there, they weren't there yesterday. So everything else is somewhat community holes and places that, that um, other anglers are fishing. So that makes it to where it's a little bit more difficult um, to rotate on. The thing is today is you have the chance of that shad spawn going. And if that shad spawn goes off this morning, I already have a couple places in mind, you know, that I caught them on last time that maybe might be the deal. And if you can catch 20 pounds or something like that early in the morning, first thing off of, you know, a few sets of those docks. Now, I have not had any of this in practice. I haven't, but if you can catch 20 pounds, you know, 18 to 25, 30 pounds off of one of those places mile. really, Take you know, really early, early this morning. That allows me to run the rest of my offshore stuff and make the rotation on stuff. So there's only 10 other boats, well, nine other boats that are fishing. I know a few of them are in the arm that I'm in. Mean, I think four of the top 10 are in, in the James River. Um, so that'll be, you know, it'll be a little crowded, but overall, I, I got a feeling one of us four is gonna have a really sh good shot at winning this thing, so. We'll see. I'll tell you what, so, since that trip that we took with the academy folks, first responders, all the firemen at the side of my boat, hey, it's been pretty lucky. I ain't gonna lie. Other than the fact that that ain't a mechanical issue, we're still good. Need a little bit of that luck today though. At first, uh, I, I used a lot of it. <laughs> a lot. All right, got that. Check, check, check. 
Do you think you have that in you again, Jacob, because you caught a ton of fish? Man. Uh, right on top of each other. It was a great couple of days. But uh, how does it set up for you this morning? I mean, so you, you, you got on them, especially the first day, and you yeah. didn't stop. So, so how's it look for you today? You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely a different condition. So, you know, you have to adjust to that. I love the competition. I love to fish against the best, best anglers in the world. With, you know, I mean, I got my buddies Connell and Adrian out here. I mean, Van Dam's back in the top 10, so it's always good to see him out here. Well, it's not always great to see him because I don't like to see him in the top 10 and have to deal with him, but um, good to see him out here. Otter, you know, every top 10 I've made this year, Otter's been in the top 10, so hey, trust me, I, I everybody here is, is, is really serious about trying to win this thing. Good luck, bro. Thanks a lot. See ya. Three deep in the bathroom and 10. Hey, you gotta have him. You tie, you tie him by the net. Hey, he might not make it past this one. <laughs> How much time we got? Five and a half minutes. Where's DC at? DC! Where's he at? Hey, DC, get behind right here. Dude, if you don't stop it. Two pounds, two ounces. Yes. First one of the day. Whoa. There we go. Two pounder. I know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit the ding too too early this morning. I won a bit. It was a good one. Work for you, dude. Two six. Uh, ding. There you go. Right there. It's a good large mouth. Gosh, dang. Ain't they're good, but. <sighs> Gosh, my. Thing is, I'm stressing out a little bit because there's a school of them below. Set up perfectly right now, and I don't know. But I'm like, gosh, dang. I want to go catch them. I want to go catch them, but I'm like, I know if I don't. I might be able to catch two or three nice ones doing this and then and then you sort of chance it that a local might roll over there and catch those fish but that's what it is yeah dang man i had like a few good bites but very few of them actually eat. hmm 20 minutes man we caught two other than both nice ones but that should be a bite. That deal's done. We're about to roll after this duck right here. All right, let's go. What's the score tracker looking like? 
Scott Suggs is in first. He's got seven pounds, 13 ounces. <clears throat> Fred Rabanis has moved into second with six pounds, eight ounces. We're currently in third with four pounds, eight ounces. Kevin Van Dam's in fourth with three pounds, 15 ounces. Dustin Tonnell's at fifth with two pounds, 13 ounces. Adrian Avina's in sixth with two pounds, three ounces. Randy Collins in seventh with one pound, nine ounces. Cody Myers in eighth with one pound, eight ounces. Okay, good deal. Thanks for letting me know. Dude, they're just not. I mean, they're there too. For some reason, they're not biting though. Got to let that sun get up on them fish. We gotta catch 20 pounds. Put it down for a somehow. One pound, six pounds. Yes, sir. Big one. Not a big one. One pound, seven ounces. <laughs> Thought it was a big one. Just got sideways on me. Come on. One pound, eleven ounces. Yes, sir. We're about to roll out. Fourteen ounces. Don't don't miss it. Don't miss a fish. One pound, two ounces. Yep. underneath that dock right there and we got a ride. Just hoping I catch 20 pounds quicker than this though. We're just gonna pop some pad. You guys are good. That should be gold. Zero ounces. All right, I'm, since I dinged on a three six, I'm gonna baby ding, uh, ding. Baby. Thank you. One pound, six ounces. Pounds zero ounces. Ding. There you go. Two pounds. Pound six ounces. Gotta keep pay attention to that girl. Gotta pay attention to that girl. That should be one right there. Maybe. I might have still got to him. I got him. Well, that's a nice spot. There you go. Belly ya. Calm down. One pound, 12 ounce.
One pound, one ounce. Fifteen ounces, not spoiled. Roll, boys. We're gonna let that thing set, settle down for a little bit. So they can actually group out, take them a minute. We need to go out over here, this other place, and we can retie some stuff. Oh, we caught 12 of them off that place, huh? 13? That was a good plate. I mean, Sneeko didn't disappoint, but he just it made me work harder for him. Yep. Just got a one pound, seven ounce fish. Moves him up to 69 pounds and two ounces. He's currently nine pounds, 13 ounces behind. All right, so we're back right there, Jake. Those last two fish give you 84 pounds and zero ounces. The lead over Brandon Polinick increased to 14 pounds, 14 ounces. Congratulations, Jake. You're stage seven champion. 30 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines out. That's the end of the round and championship day. Congratulations, Jake. You're stage seven champion. You guys, oh man. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> Gosh, dang. Sorry, y'all. Oh. The sunglasses back on. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, had a lot of close calls this year, you know, and it's like 
you, you, you work your butt off to get any opportunities and for it to finally for it to finally work together and make it all happen I just I had to leave it all out here on the water today and <clears throat> there's nothing more that I wanted than to take home one of those Bass Pro Tour trophies and we did it yeah that's unbelievable oh lord thank you Oh my god. I just, y'all don't even know. Came close to North Carolina, and uh, I told myself if I ever get in that position again, I will never let up no matter what happens. Today we didn't let up. We put our head down, we went to work, and uh, we were blessed beyond belief to get catch what we caught, but. To, to be able to have an opportunity to go out here and, and do what we did today. Phenomenal anglers like Polinick, DC, man name in this top 10. You know, it's, um, it's, it's something that like, you know, I've won a lot of things over the last handful of years, but it's been a while since I've won. And uh, I just don't take those for granted. You don't take those wins for granted and, um, I just, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm tickled pink, but I'm also, you know, pretty emotional because I know this means a lot to me. This one right here means a lot. Gosh, guys. <sighs> oh, man. Good job, Greg. Thank you. Man, I just, I can't even believe it. I can't. Maybe. guys the YouTube crowd we did it y'all been following along for a while now not won one of these not won a major tournament on the YouTube and have an opportunity to bring you guys along on this journey oh table rock you got me once but I got you that second time thank you buddy I was so happy when all four of y'all made the cut. Dude, unbelievable. Hold on. Yeah, and now I get to tell you guys. Now, Trey, we were, we were in a bind. Bad, bad. And we needed a house to stay at. And he said, man, I got a lake house. This dude looked out for us, all of us. Beautiful place. I mean, we appreciate you letting us stay yeah, there, dude. Absolutely, it was, it, was, man. All, it was really lucky, obviously. We all made the cut. Yeah. We all, yeah. we had three of us made a top ten. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking hammer. <laughs> Unreal. I finally got one of those suckers. Yeah, finally. I, I finally yeah, did. We only got second three times. And they were all suspending that timber today. Dude, I rolled over this dang cedar tree. Like, I like run them on a spot and I shut down and just like coasted over the cedar tree. It was just like, oh. and I'm like, Shoo. swim bait. And I just like, a bunch of them. and then I pitch a drop shot in them. I caught a bunch of mine on, on cedar trees. I caught all mine out of, out of standing timber and brush. Really? <laughs> standing timber, the cedar tree is a deal, huh? Yeah. If they get in it, like tops of it. God. Official has got writer's cramp. 
<laughs> Bad Boy Mowers. Thank you so much Thank and you. congratulations. Oh. Jacob, it's all yours. We're gonna step this way. We're gonna get him center for the big, big horse. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for the Bad Boy Mowers Stage 7 Table Rock presented by Covercraft winner, none other than Jacob Wheeler! So we're about to go jump in here and shoot a, a feature on MajorlyFishing.com. I guess they call it the drive, something like that. Um, so we drive Joel Shangle, uh, editor-in-chief of the website and media, a lot of the media. We uh, hop in the truck or this little car, basically discuss what went down this week on Table Rock. What's up, Ted? Howdy, buddy. You back? You happy? You back? Gosh, you got a leash on you and everything. What's up, buddy? Look at this. It's the trophy. Oh, you didn't like going with Adrian? He what? He tied a rod sock to your neck and drug you around all day? Gosh, DC puts you in the car in a hot sun all day long, and then Adrian tries to then strangle you to death. That's not good. Well. Listen here, you're gonna get to come home with me. So you get to go ha hang out with Olivia again. We'll be all good, okay? Sorry you had to deal with that, Ted. I apologize. Apologize, buddy. It's okay, though. I'm back. I'm here for you, man. All right, everybody. I'll tell you what. Just got done with doing all the stuff that we have to do after winning. Unbelievable week. Had my second shot at Table Rock. Got it done. I appreciate you guys following, really do. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the time you guys spend watching these videos and all the comments you leave, good or bad. Just don't be hitting the dislike button, that's just garbage. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, y'all are good. If you want to dislike it, it's fun. But at the end of the day, awesome, awesome week. I thank you guys so much for following along. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go beat him in ball. Thank you.